What's up guys, welcome back to another Logic Saber video. Today we are kicking off our VESC series. You guys just got a VESC, you're looking for a high power speed controller, you go for a VESC, but it can be kind of confusing to set it up. So today we're discussing all the physical connections, uh, what all the different ports do, where things plug in, so that, that way we can try to take as much of the confusion out of it as possible. So for this series, we are gonna be looking at the current Maker X offerings of their VESC controllers. So they have a DB4S, a DB6S, and a D100S. They're pretty much all very, very similar. Physically, they're almost identical, but the difference is under the hood with different amperage and voltage limits. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, let's look at the physical connections um, of each of the units. Let's take a closer look at the DB4S. So again, the DB4S, 6S, and D100 all have identical port layout. So no matter what unit you have, this will all pertain to you. Now the most important port here is obviously the power port. Nothing's gonna happen without power. So uh, ours has an XT90 on it. This is a male. So this matches all of the M boards battery packs. Over here, we've got our two sets of phase wires. So in our case, our units have four millimeter bullet, bullet connectors, but if you were to get this directly from Maker X, you might have different size. So just keep that in mind, all of ours matches the motors that we sell, so that makes sense, right? But if you get this from another, a, a third party or somewhere else, it may have a different size of these, so just keep that in mind, but we use four millimeter. Okay, so back to these ports. So we've covered the phase wire, we've covered the power. Now let's go over all of the different ports here. This is what is the most confusing for most of our new builders. So if you need to know anything really in particular about which specific pin does what, everything is labeled right there. But let's move on to what each port actually does. So this is our power button port. So the new units are very nice because it actually has a dedicated port for power. So we would plug our power button into there. And then if we had power, you'd click this on and off and it would just turn your unit on and off. So we don't have power, so obviously it's not gonna light up. Okay, so moving through, this first port is what we call a UART port. Now, technically this port here and this port here are both identical. However, we try to connect everything very specifically. So this first UART port is where we plug in our Bluetooth adapter. Now, technically you could put your receiver there as well, your, your remote receiver, but we put our Bluetooth adapter there for a very specific reason. So when we program later on down the line, it's still, uh, it's all actually uniform. So when you're setting this up, put your Bluetooth there. So to keep it simple, Bluetooth goes there. Now these next two middle ports here, this is where you'd plug in your uh, hall sensor cables. Your hall sensor is the sensor wire for your motors. So the left or right port goes to the matching side uh, phase wires. So keep your sides together. So your hall sensors go there. Now this side, again, this is the same port as here, but we this is where we put our receiver. So again, we're, we're, we're keeping things standardized so that way all of our builds are the same, all the programming works the same. So again, Bluetooth here, your remote receiver goes there. And then the, finally, the last port, if you're using this last port, you probably don't need this video. So this would just forward your uh, receiver input to a second unit if you're doing four wheel drive builds. And if you're doing that, you're probably a little bit more advanced than this current video, but we'll probably make a dedicated four wheel drive video in the future. So again, uh, don't worry about that one too much. If you just have a two wheel drive board, you, you really aren't gonna use it. Uh, so that's, that go, that's pretty much it. Those are all of our ports there. Um, in the next video, we're going to go over actually connecting this to a build, getting the software running, and start configuring our motor settings, motor detection, and stuff like that. So this is just the general layout, getting your board actually connected. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You should have all these connectors and all your current hardware, and it, it'll start going pretty smoothly once you start figuring out each of these different pins. Um, you'll see that all your connectors will kind of just fit together as far as pin layout goes. So hopefully this is pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. We're very active in the comment section and please hit that subscribe button for the future videos in this series. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one.